Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Blurry Dave back with another review for you guys and uh, happy St. Patrick's Day to you all and I figure what a better way to like review something green for you guys and I bought this last Friday but if you've if you've seen my Instagram Blurry Dave YT you know that I got this and uh, I'm very happy to have it in my hands and I mean this thing was everywhere and by everywhere I mean just targets and walmarts <laughs> uh like they were selling a bunch of these and so i thought you know what i might as well buy one but fortunately or unfortunately they they sell two different versions of of this plush so i figured uh you know what i'm okay if i don't have like the other one so uh all right let's get into the to the point of this video here i got the boba fett plush the rocket launcher plush to be exact um is it worth the thirty dollars? Um, well, I guess it depends, really. I mean, if you're a big fan of plushies and Star Wars and Boba Fett, then uh, this would be a good thing for you. Um, maintaining it's maintained the box, you know, because it's big, which I'll show you in a in a bit here. But look at this, guys. Look at Boba Fett, one of my favorite bounty hunters growing up. Uh, so as you can see, the helmet mold is like a hard plastic, and the rest is well, you know, plushy. Uh, but here's the rocket launcher. Um, this thing falls off pretty easily, but you can take it off. Oh, see, <laughs> um, I'm not sure how I'm going to show this to you guys because it takes both hands to uh, do this. Or you could use, use one hand, you know, that's fine. Um, yeah, I love the details on this. The other version I was talking about, there's a talking Boba Fett, so I thought this one, like, you, like, squeeze his hand and then you talk and then he repeats what you say um i don't know i feel like if i could get like a bunch of requests from you guys if you want me to get that one next and like do a comparison i'll do it only if you guys ask all right um let's say why don't we get this video up to like 10 likes you know and if we get a crap ton of comments and then i'll have no choice but to buy the other one i know that my local walmart for a fact has a shelf just committed to the talking one at least. I got this one at my local Target. Alright, so here's the box for this. It's pretty cool. Rocket Launcher Boba Fett Future Plush. If you want to read the description up there, go ahead. Um, I am going to cut these parts off just because like, I love seeing Boba Fett. Um, and I don't know if you, if you also saw this on my Instagram, guys, but I've talked about how much I loved the series and and how much I love seeing Bulba come back because, you know, um, you know, the Han Solo movie and the Boba Fett series, you know, like, um, those are very, I guess, like, good personal projects for me because I've always wanted, uh, specifically a Boba Fett project for him and, um, like, we finally got it. And uh, I can't wait to see what season two will have to offer, so, um. Yeah. Anyways, I just wanted to show you guys this quick review of the Boba Fett plush. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and ready. Please send the post notification bell and share my content if you haven't ready. And tell me, will you be picking this guy up, you know? Who knows? Make the toy sales rise. <laughs> uh, but like I said, if you go to your local Walmart and if you see this, you know that there's going to be one section that's committed to the plush. So, <laughs> alright, um... Again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks, so bye. And may the Lord and may the Force be with you guys. Always love you guys. Peace out, guys. Remember, this is the way. All right. Have a good St. Patrick's Day, guys, and have a great day. All right. Bye.